Okay, folks, so we're going to start off with a simple knot, an overhand knot, or a grind knot, as you'll, you'll know it. And it's a pretty simple, round and through like this. It gives us that kind of knot there. Okay, take that one apart, and then we'll add an extra loop to that, and we're going to end up with a figure of eight knot. Okay, that's that one there. Okay. And then we're going to undo that and we're going to tie both of those knots now in a doubled rope. So we're going to fold the rope over so we end up with an eye like that in the in part of the rope. And we're going to take that eye as the end and we're going to cross that over and through to make an overhand tied on the bite or also a overhand loop. Okay, handy not to know. We'll start off in the same place with that eye, if you like, that fold in the rope. Rather than do an overhand, we're going to do a figure of eight in the rope. Okay, and we'll tie it like so. And that gives you your figure of eight loop, or your figure of eight tied on the bite. Okay. We've also got in our horror school knot repertoire is a clove hitch. And if you remember, the clove hitch was one loop followed by a second loop. And then the first loop went over the top of the second loop like that. Okay, and gave us that sort of shape. And we could drop that over a stick like that. And that would give us a clove hitch. Really useful not for attaching a rope to a fixed point or even a peg in the ground or something like that. Okay, there's uh, a knot called a timber hitch, which again is fastened around something. So if you can imagine you've got this here, you've got your piece of rope going around the thing you want to tie it to. Okay, it crosses over itself like this, it goes all the way around and back to the beginning. So you're going to start off, and show it closer to the camera like that. There we go, that's a good, good image. And then we're going to wrap this rope around itself three times. There's once, there's twice, and the third time, like that. And if you pull on this bit, okay, the whole thing tightens up around whatever it is you're trying to tie it to. And you could use that one on a tree if you were starting off a taut line perhaps between two fixed points. Okay, that's your timber hitch. This knot you can see here is a taut line hitch. It's designed to slide up and down the rope to create like a guy line, adjustable guy line. And I'll show you how to tie that one now. So the way to tie it is to bring the line down from wherever it is attached to. So the corner of your tarpaulin goes off in that direction around a temp peg and back up here. So you've got the one coming down from the, t uh, the tarpaulin and the one coming up from the ten peg which is down there. Okay, and we take the one from the ten peg and we wrap it around the one from the tarpaulin. And the best way of remembering this one is you do two below or possibly even three below. So one, two, three, and I'll explain that in a second, and then one above. Okay, so you've got your first one going round through there. You've got your second one going round and through there. There's always an opportunity for a third one if you like, or a third one round and through. So three below if you like, and then one above like this and through there. And pull them together and that creates your taut line hitch, and that's an adjustable hitch which you can slide up and down to tighten your tarp wall. The next knot you're going to see here is a bowline or bowline, depending on who you speak to. The idea is that you're creating a fixed loop to fasten, say, your line to your tarp corner or something like that. The best way I've found to do it is to 
You know, you've got two ends, a short end and a long end. Okay. So let go of the short end first of all. In the long end, make a loop like this. Okay. Reach through the loop and pick up a piece of the long end and bring it through. Don't put it too tight. Leave it sort of slack and loose like this. Take the short end and pass it through that loop like so. So you've got the short end in one hand and the long end in the other hand. Pull on the one in the long end so it grips like so. And then if you let go of this one and just pull on the long end, you end up with a bowl in. Okay, I'll just bring the camera a bit closer so you can see what I'm on about. There you go, there's your bowl in.